Hello students, hope you all are healthy and fine. Welcome you all to class 4th. In the meanwhile, I think you all have revised whatever we have done, whatever we have studied in class 3rd. So let's start with class 4th. Okay, so our next chapter, first chapter is First chapter, Storage and Memory Devices. Our first chapter is Storage and Memory Devices. Where we store in the computer, what are the memories of the computer, where the computer used to store the data, what are the devices used to store the data in the computer. This all we will going to study in this chapter. So, learning objectives. What these are the topics that we will going to learn in this chapter. First is data, data storage units, types of memory, internal memory, RAM, ROM, external memory, storage devices, hard disk, CD, DVD, Blu-ray disk, flash drive, memory card, multimedia card, and computer boards. We will going to see each and every topic one by one in detail. So our next is what is data? Whatever we type like alphabets, digits, special symbols or anything that we type in the computer is called as data. And when you give the data to the computer, the computer used to process it. Process means kaam karna. The computer used to work on that data and gives you a information. So, whenever you give any data to the computer and computer used to do the work in its CPU, the full form of the CPU is Central processing unit, which is called the brain of computer. So, computer used to work in the CPU and gives you a information. Okay. Next is storage units. Data storage units. The computer used to store our data. Whatever we give to the computer, it is stored somewhere. So, we will going to study the devices which are used to store the data in detail afterwards. But these are the units. For example, when you buy any vegetable from the market, there is a measuring unit for it. When you buy any potato, you used to say, give me 5 kg of potato. So, what is kg? It is the measuring unit. So, in the same way, Whenever we store anything in the computer, it is stored in a unit. That is GB, TB, KB. So you must have heard like this. In If I talk in the technical language, you must have heard it like this. That uh, give me a pen drive of 4 GB. Give me a pen drive of 8 GB. So what is GB? GB is the storage unit. So it means up this pen drive can store up to 8 GB of data in it. Now, whatever we feed in the computer that is converted into a machine code. You used to understand some language. So the computer also understands one language that is machine language and that is called machine code. Whenever it, you enter anything in the computer, it is turned into the machine code. There are two types of the code. There are the two types of the states that computer used to understand. On and off. On means 1 and off means 0. What are these 1 and 0? These are called the binary digits or the bits. Now, there on the right hand side, it is given the memory size. So, 
we are having certain memory units this we will going to discuss in this chart 8 bits is equal to 1 byte 1024 bytes is is equals to 1 kilobyte 1024kb is equals to 1 megabyte 1024 megabyte is equals to 1 gigabyte 1024 gigabyte is equals to 1 terabyte 1024 terabyte is equals to 1 petabyte 104 petabyte is equals to 1 exabyte 1024 exabyte is equals to 1 zettabyte 1024 zettabyte is equals to 1 yota by 8 these are the measuring units of a storing something in the computer now types of the memory the memory determines how much the instruction how much the data you can store in your computer how much data you can store in the computer memory is called the memory of the computer you can see memory there are two types of the memory first is internal memory and second is the external memory internal memory is also called as primary memory and external memory is also called as secondary memory so we will going to discuss both these memories in detail one by one internal memory is also known as primary memory or the main memory it is built in memory this memory is present in the cpu when you buy any computer there is some memory present in the computer that is called the primary memory or it is called the main memory it is the fastest memory of among all the data storage it is the fastest form of storing a data now internal memory is also called as primary memory and we are having two types of the internal memory ram and rom we will discuss them in detail one by one ram the full form of the ram is random access memory on the right hand side you can even see how the ram looks like in the cpu okay so what is ram it stores the data information temporarily matlab it used to store the data but for a shorter period of the time the data stored in the memory is lost the data stored in the memory is lost when you turn off the computer or the power is switched off when you switch off the power when you turn shut down your computer the whatever the data is stored in this memory it all get lost so what is wrong it is a collection of raw facts and figures process data is known as information whatever the information you give to the computer it is stored in rom only now the next is rom the full form of the rom is read only memory on the right hand side you can see how the rom looks like in the cpu it holds startup instructions that prepare a computer for use whenever you switch on your computer it all the functions all the booting process used to take place in this rom only whenever you start the computer you must have seen a black screen used to come with a starting window it comes so what does it mean it used to check all the collection all the connections are properly set up 
or not and where it is checked it is checked in the rom only the instructions in this rom can be read and cannot be changed whatever you write in the rom it cannot be changed when you buy any computer a rom is automatically defined what what all the functions rom will do it will be defined when you buy any computer it retains the stored information even when the power is switched off but what is the benefit we are having in rom when you shut down your computer or your power is switched off it will not going to lose its information whatever the information is stored in the ram it will be there forever rom stores a large amount of the data as compared to the ram so it stores more information more data than the ram so rom is good in two parts which one first one it does not lose any information when you shut down the computer and secondly it can store a large amount of the data as compared to the ram now you can see a circuit of ram and rom this is a circuit showing ram and rom in a cpu so the red light indicating the rom memory and the blue lights are indicating the ram memory okay so red lights are give, giving you this is the rom memory and the blue lights are indicating this is a ram memory now the next is external memory we have studied it there are two types of the memory first is internal memory and second one is the external memory internal memory is again are of two types ram and rom we have seen it just now and the second part of the memory was external memory so we are going to study it detail in this it is a device that is used to information for a longer period of a time whenever you want to store your information for a longer period you should store in the external memory data is not lost in the external memory even when the computer is turned off when you shut down the computer the data will not be going to lost this is the benefit of the external memory the external memory is essential because internal memory is too small so whenever you want to store the information more than the internal memory you need some device where you can store the information so that is the external memory external memory is also called as secondary memory now you on the right hand side you can see external memory is also called as secondary memory and these are the parts of the secondary memory hard disk flash drive pen drive memory cd dvd blu ray disk these all external memory devices we will going to study one by one now first is what are the storage devices a computer uses various storage devices to store the data in them where if, for example hard disk pen drive cd these are permanent or non volatile storage devices what do you mean by the term non volatile storage devices it means the data will not be lost when you shut down your computer when you turn off your computer the data will not be lost it will remain there forever okay so these are the storage devices where we can store our information on the right hand side you can see there is a port where a person is placing a pen drive cd okay, uh, this is your data cable so you all can see these devices are used to store the information now the next one is the hard disk it is the main storage medium for computers it is present in the cpu you all know it hard disk is present in the cpu and it is used to store the data it is made up of collection of disk known as 
palates. There are number of the disc here which, which can be used to store a data. It is fixed inside the CPU box and it can hold a large amount of data. Hard disk can store up to 8 TB of data. Nowadays, external hard disks are also available which are small in size and can be carried anyway. So, hard disk we are having in our CPU also. But there is certain limit of it. If you want to store data more than your hard disk size, you need some, uh, you can even attach another hard disk to it which can store a large amount of information in it. And what is a hard disk? They have shown you on the right hand side, it contains a number of disk in it. Number of the disk are contained here and which are known as pallets. Unko kya bolte hai? Platters. Sorry, the, it is known as platters. Next is CD, compact disk. It is an optional storage device. You can store your data in CD also and the full form of the CD is compact disk. A CD is a thin shiny circular disk and it can store up to 700 MB of data. And, the, uh, and it is 4.7 inches in diameter. A CD can hold text graphics, sound, images, videos, anything can be stored in this CD. It can be used for data backup and holding software. You can store any software in this, it, you can store any data in this. And what is backup? Backup means whenever you delete any file by mistake, it should be somewhere in the computer. So, that is called the backup. DVD. The full form of the DVD is digital versatile disk or digital video disk. It is also a storage device for storing a large amount of the information like recording movie with higher video, sound quality, uh, for example, if you want to uh, enter, uh, you want to store your mother's or some relative's marriage full video. So you cannot store it in CD. You need a DVD because of its high picture quality, because of its high, uh, very good sound quality. You need a DVD to store your data. The storage capacity varies from 4.7 GB to 17 GB. It is having a very high quality, very high capacity in comparison to the CD. Now the next is we are having Blu-ray disc. It is a disc that can store up to 128 GB of data. We can store about 128 GB of the data and it is very large. If you want to store a uh, data which is very large, you should opt for Blu-ray disc. It is mainly used for storing high quality sounds, games, movies and etc. The Blu-ray disc is derived from blue violet laser that is used to read and write data on it. Why it is called a Blu-ray disc? Because the violet rays that is in it is used to read and write the data whatever the information whatever the data is stored in this disk is read with the help of this violet rays that's why it is the name is given to this as blue ray disk this is our flash drive you all are aware about it this is your pen drive now it is a plus and a place device and it is connected to usb and the full form of the USB is Universal Serial Bus Port. You can connect your pen drive to USB port which is present in any laptop or any computer 
with the help of which you can read whatever the information whatever the data is there in that pen drive you can copy you can move any data from one computer to the other now the next we are having is memory card this is the memory card looks like you must have seen in your parents mobile phone or even in your um, some of your computers a slot is given small slot a given is like this you can enter your memory card there and you can read what enter the information is there in it a memory card is a storage device like mobile digital cameras and music players in some music players also it is present you can read the information from it with the help of the digital cameras also it can be easily removed device you can easily remove it you can easily insert it and you can read the information whatever it is and it also varies there is not a certain limit that it can store a data it varies from size to size you can get a for example you can see it is a 1 gb of memory card you can get a 2 gb of the memory card you can get a 4 gb of the memory card you can get a 8 gb of the memory card this means that memory card can store 8 gb of data in it nowadays most of the laptops come with a inbuilt card reader there is a port available in the some of the laptops or in the computers which can read whatever the information is there in that memory card next is multimedia card a memory multimedia card is a small in size it is a very small in size multimedia card it is like a stamp it is very very small in size and it is very it is in various storage capacities ranging up to 512 gb of data you can store in it now we will see computer port some ports are available in the computer which are used to store to read the information from the storage devices for example you can see mouse port is there in green color mouse port is there in green color this purple color port is used for keyboard and this at the bottom you can see there is one port that is a usb port so the mouse port is used to connect your mouse and this green color mouse port is there this purple color violet color keyboard port is there and at the bottom there is a usb port and the full form of the usb i have told you is universal serial bus and this port is used to connect your pen drive to the cpu so that you can read whatever the information is there in the pen drive or you can connect for example you can connect your phone also with the help of the data cable to this usb port now computer port we are having it is a connection point that act as an interface between a computer and external or internal devices these are the ports where we can connect anything and with the help of that port we can read whatever the information whatever the data is there in the external device external device can be any hard disk it can be flash drive pen drive it can be phone so you can read the information with these ports internal ports may connect devices like hard disk cd rom tv drive anything you can connect with these ports whereas external ports connect external devices like modem printer mouse and other devices so students if you face any problem just note it down and we will going to discuss in the zoom session
Thank you. Hope you understand whatever I have taught you. In case if you find any problem, in case you don't understand the meaning of any particular word or term, you can note it down somewhere. Whenever we are going to have a Zoom session, I will discuss with you each and everything. Okay. Thank you.